guys, it's Kelly here, back with another video. So today is Vlogmas Day 5. Bam, 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 bam. As you can see, I'm in my coat, ready to go, because I'm gonna go get some tape, because if we don't have any tape, we have everything else to wrap presents. I'm gonna wrap my presents, I'm gonna answer some questions, and it's gonna be a good time. Ugh. Okay, so I'm on my way to go get some presents, so let's go. Bam. while I'm wrapping presents. Um, so this is gonna be fun. And yeah, I just wanted to use the same book. So previously I did like a get to know me more video type thing. I'll link it down below or put it up here. But I use this book of questions and it's kind of just like a bunch of deep questions. Um, so I thought I might as well talk a little, reiterate who I am. I just think it's good to answer deep questions every once in a while, get your brain get your brain flowing. All right, I'm not gonna show you me wrapping everything um, because I I don't want the people that I'm, I'm wrapping these for to know what I'm getting them. So I'm just gonna, I'll show you what they look like afterwards, but I'll be wrapping along along the way. Okay, this is, this is actually a good question. Would you wanna record everything you hear or see 24 hours a day, seven days a week, year in and year out? All right, so I don't think that I would want to have myself filmed like all the time. I just think that I would end up hating it. Um, I think it's better to record the moments that you want to record rather than like being followed all the time. When did you last cry in front of another person or to yourself? I think the last time I cried was on Thanksgiving. Um, my mom mentioned my grandma and my grandma passed like last October, I believe. Um, so she was just, like saying memories and I, I was thinking about her like previously so it really got me like upset. Um, so that was the last time I cried and I don't want to cry again because talking about her makes me sad. So let's go to the next question. Would you like your partner to be much more smarter and much more attractive than you? If so, what is it about you that might hold his or her interest and love? I feel like to an extent I would want them to be smarter and more attractive than me. Um, I think it's always good to have someone that's smarter than you, you like learn more um, in general. If someone's like much more smarter than me, then I can't even have like a actual conversation, you know what I mean? Um, then I think that would be bad if that makes sense. But I do think like having someone smarter than you is always like good no matter what. Um, more attractive, I don't care if they're, if he's hot, sure, whatever. <laughs> I don't care what might hold his interest or love. If my partner is meant to be with me, then they would have no problem be interested and love me just for who I am. I don't think I would need to do anything that would have to make them stay or have to make them accept me. <laughs> I think just being myself would make them stay. <laughs> um, not to be like, oh my god, I'm the best ever, like the smartest and the most attractive boy will come to me. Um, it's just, if that person's supposed to be with me, they'll be with me and I won't have to do anything. And that goes the same for anyone else. Like, if your partner's supposed to be with you, they'll be with you. And if they're not willing to be with you for who you are, then they're not your person and you have better luck going off to someone else. <laughs> Would you rather die peacefully among friends at age 50 or painfully and alone at age 80? With friends, Why? that's an easy question. Why would I want to die painfully and alone at 80? I'd rather be with the people I love and die early and be happy. <laughs> Is it hard for you to ask for help? If so, what about it bothers you the most? Um, I would say yeah, I always try to figure things out before I ask for help. Um, so like when I really feel like I need help or someone else's input, I will ask them. I'm trying to get better at it though because it's always good to ask for help, but I don't want to like be too reliant on someone else that I can't do things on my own. So. 
I really need help, I will help someone. Or if I just need an opinion, I'll ask someone. But I feel like that's different than needing help with like a situation specifically. <clears throat> but I always try to figure it out myself first. I feel like that could definitely be problematic sometimes, like especially um, like previously when I went through like my mental health like episode that I had like like a year ago. I definitely did not want to ask for help. I didn't. I wanted to do it myself. Um, and I let it go too long, which definitely could be a problem. So if you need help in like that aspect, I would say reaching out to someone else is definitely a better idea than keeping it all in by yourself and trying to do it yourself. Um, even just talking about it with someone else will always like help in some way. So that helped me at least. If you could earn the same pay no matter what job you did, would you pursue another profession? If so, what would you choose and why? Um, I feel like I've chosen the profession that I want to go into regardless of like if I'm going to get like that like a lot of a lot of money from it I'm not in it for the money I'm in it for like happiness um, I don't think that there's any reason to go into a job other than doing it because you like it obviously everyone needs money and everyone needs to rely on money to live and survive but you can definitely do that um, if you go on the route of happiness as well because you're more more likely going to do better at a job that you love than at a job that you hate so i wouldn't have to choose another profession because journalism is what i want to do i know that i like making videos it's fun for me i love doing it i can totally see myself doing it as a career i'd rather do that than another thing so yeah i feel like i answered the question <laughs> what are the most important things you've brought into the world that would not exist without you um, <laughs> and it says excluding children, but I don't have any children. The most important things I've brought into the world, I haven't really brought anything into the, like I haven't created something other than like videos, really like making my own thing from scratch. I would say like, not a physical thing, but like emotional thing. Like I would bring happiness to people. I would hope that every life that I touch in some way is better because of me i'm not gonna say like i'm freaking god like i've just blessed you son no i just i think that every person i talk to i always try to have a good impact on them no matter what like how big or small um so i think that that's the most important thing i brought into the world because after the if you think about it after you die all you have is the people that you've you've met all the relationships you've had, all the memories you've had with those people, those are the only things that are gonna stick. Those are the only things people are gonna remember you after you go. So the lives that you touch really matter the most, I feel like. This is shaking so much. I'm trying to have a deep talk. I might take this off. I think that all the all the people I've touched definitely means the most to me. Um, and yeah. Okay, so I answered a bunch of the questions. I actually, um, wrapped all of them separately because I couldn't do it at the same time. I could not concentrate. I was getting really frustrated. The scissors were not working properly, so that was really annoying. I think I'm gonna put this back on because it looks super festive. Um, but yeah, I answered all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, you guys haven't seen my sweater, but this is what it looks like. Mm. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys all my presents all wrapped up. So let's have a little montage, shall we? He. <laughs> Bye.